Hello you guys, welcome back to the vlog. It is Sunday and we're having a cozy day at home. It's been so gloomy and it was raining earlier today. But we were just like, what better day than just chill at home, catch up on some editing. Overall, like a pretty chill weekend. Today we went to a farm and it was so much fun. We went with my sister and her boyfriend. We took so many cute pictures. Let me insert them for you. So you get a glimpse for yourself to see how the day went, but it was a lot of fun. I was a little bit bummed out though because I thought they had apple picking and I was really looking forward to going apple picking coming back home and making a homemade apple pie but they didn't have any apple picking and either way though i think if we had gone to another farm we probably wouldn't have had much luck with it because it's already the end of october and i think apple picking season is pretty much done so we probably wouldn't even have had many apples to pick from anyway I want to make a roast stew or I'm gonna whip something up and I made it once before and it turned out pretty good So I'm gonna try it again and see how it turns out I like trying out different recipes and just like playing around with different things in the kitchen I think it's fun and I think I've always had some sort of joy for cooking because even when I was younger I was I don't know like 10 11. I was like so young and I'd be at home watching Watching the Food Network. Some of my favorite shows was 30 minute meal Sugar. There was another one. This it's a it's this Italian lady. It was like cooking with Contessa or something like that. I don't even remember. But like I loved watching these cooking shows. I will say that there are certain days where I'm like I don't feel like cooking. I don't want to do this today. Like being an adult and trying to figure out what to eat every day is honestly tiring. Like it's like oh like what are we what are we gonna eat today? Like what are we gonna cook? Lee Alexi helps me in that department. On days I don't feel like cooking, he'll cook. He's home first. He'll start the meal and he's always. He's always down, he's always willing to be my little sous chef in the kitchen and he'll like help me chop things up and stuff. So that definitely saves up some time and doesn't leave all the work for me to do. That's pretty much what I'm up to today. I'm having a super chill Sunday. I'm gonna continue editing this vlog. Alexi's gonna come back from the grocery store um, and then he's also gonna put up some picture frames for us. Not picture frames, like artwork or art pieces for us downstairs. So I'm really excited about that. So I'm gonna show you guys how that is looking. So I'm gonna continue editing and I will see you guys later. Can I say hi to my vlog? Hello. Hello. There's the cute little sis. Thank you, little <gasps> You're wearing the sweater. Oh, well, it, it is scratchy, but. So you're gonna keep it? I can keep it. You're gonna keep it even though it's scratchy? Yeah, here, like, you can look at my whole fit. I look adorable. Let me see. Show, give them, give them your OOTD. So my shoes are UGG. Mm hmm. My my pants are the Levi 101s. Yeah. This is from Marshalls. Uh huh. This is unofficial Zara purse. I love it. some artwork that we found at home since the other day for our entryway so let's go see how it's coming along i think he needs my help with like looking at the angles so let's go see how it looks i'm really excited so this is our piece number one our piece number two it looks so nice i'm so nice excited super. for the second one yeah oh my god look how nice it looks and then when the second one's up it's gonna look so cute <laughs> Can you be any more awkward and the camera's not even on you? It looks so nice. <laughs> really nice. And then when we have our console here, it's gonna look even nicer. Coming along, mm -hmm. good work, handyman. Okay. Now when I take my outfit of the day here, it just really elevated the space. It looks so good. I feel like it even opens up the space a bit. Yay! 
Welcome to my kitchen. We are gonna be making the roast beef stew. What we're gonna be making it, so I'm gonna chop up some veggies. I've already chopped up the meat into little cubed pieces. I'm going to, what's the word? Uh, sear the meat, not sear it, sear it. Put it all together into a big, big old Dutch oven pot and we're gonna let it cook for two to three hours. Let's get her started. Jazz playing in the background, dinner's on the stove, Zoe's being babed, Zoe's being babed upstairs. The vibes are high. We're having a perfect cozy Sunday night in and I absolutely love it. I think we should go check on the stew. See how it's cooking, see how it looks. Let's go see. We've got some potatoes boiling here for some mashed potatoes. And then here's the stew. Let me show you guys. She's a cooking. She is a cooking and she looks good, guys. Wow. And then over here, we still have our little computer set up because I'm still working on this vlog. I'm still working on this morning routine vlog. We are not really even halfway there yet. Also, don't mind my keyboard. I spilled water on my laptop like a few months ago. So now my keyboard doesn't work. So I have to use this and it's really sad, but thank God my Laptop has lasted me. Zoe's getting bathed upstairs right now. Should we go check on her? She's not really a big fan of getting bathed. She likes to be a dirty girl, but it was time for a bath because she was getting a little bit stinky. So let's go check up on her. Zoe! <laughs> Daddy's giving you a bath. Alexi's bonding time with Zoe. She's looking like a little rat right now. Can't you hear? We have the music playing. Oh my god, look, he has smooth jazz for dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Leave us alone! <laughs> that is too funny. Do you want me to help you with her eyes? Or you got it? Uh, maybe yeah, if you can help a little bit. Let me just get this for the um, body wash. Just for Good girl, Joey. Good girl. It's officially time to do some Sunday night skincare. Wow, you guys. Considering it was a pretty chill Sunday, I'm pretty exhausted, let me tell you. I'm realizing that I'm really thirsty and I probably should have brought my water up because I could go for a nice big gulp of juicy, delicious H2O. But I'm too lazy to go downstairs. And let's do some skincare. I swear every time I wear this, I have my sister's voice in my ear being like, don't put this on, it looks so bad. But you know what, I'm gonna do it anyways, and if Valentina you're watching, let me model it for you. She thinks it's so ugly. <laughs> I wash my hands because we do not want to wash your face with dirty hands. So I'm gonna use a new cleanser. I have been using this one by SkinCeuticals. I'm more than halfway through the bottle. I'm loving this one, super good. I hear so many good things about La Roche-Posay, so we're gonna try her out today. Nope. We are going to try her out today and see what she's all about. Okay, I'm probably gonna go in with a temple clip. 
but this one doesn't give a lot of lather and that's not necessarily a bad thing but for me personally i do love a cleanser that lathers and this one doesn't give any kind of sud at all so i'm thinking about it, i don't know i don't know how i feel about this and now I'm going in with my SkinCeuticals cleanser. As you can see, the lather on this one is unmatched. It just makes me feel like I'm getting it better clean. You guys, do not fall asleep with makeup on. And I feel like I cannot stress that enough. And I'm over here giving you advice. And I'm not even taking my own advice. But from now on, like I really do need to. I try. I always try to do my skincare at night. And last night, I think I mentioned it earlier in my vlog, we passed out on the couch. And I did not take off my makeup and I woke up at 4 a.m. and I did I was like so tired I was like I, I cannot even imagine going to the wash right now and washing my face so I just went to bed and now I have pimple here pimple here 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 like your my face really does break out when I decide not to wash my face at night especially when I'm wearing makeup wash your face and it will thank you for it and if you don't then these are the consequences. This is also from La Roche Posay. It's their ultra concentrated serum with glycolic and salic acid. So I'm actually going to use some of this as for these breakouts that I have going on here. And I also, it's supposed to help with blemishes, breakouts, and any kind of like scarring that you might have. I'm going with some eye cream because gotta protect those eyes you know we're not that far away from our 30s i'm only shy of two years from that so anything i can do now to help prevent signs of aging i will do it anytime i go in with my rosehip oil at night my skin wakes up glowing the next morning it feels it looks plump it looks glowy bright i absolutely love putting this at night so so good some good old vaseline on the lips because i usually put on my summer fridays but i think i put it in one of my other purses and i don't feel like looking for it right now so we're just gonna do some good old vaseline to moisturize my lips skincare's done but now i'm gonna go in with an oil for my hair this one right here and I just like to put this on my ends. It has been super dry as of lately. And I have been trying everything under the sun to try to get my hair to be less dry, more nourished, and moisturized and just hydrated. So I've been doing this every single night, putting in some hair oils so that my hair doesn't dry out. And that way while I sleep, my hair will absorb all of those nutrients from the oil.